All right, folks. I've been sitting on this one for a while because I, I it's it's a heavily spoiler uh, episode, everybody. So if you don't want things spoiled, don't go any further. Uh, specifically, everything related to Shadow Hearts character. Um, I'm going to be talking her storyline and everything today. And if you haven't taken her in your group or you haven't romanced her and you don't want things spoiled with Shadow Heart, don't don't watch this video but if you've played through with shadow heart and you know everything about her let's talk because th there's some really cool stuff with her so you've been warned spoiler alert it's out there that's your only warning everything from here on out is spoiler territory so um my first playthrough with my wood elf druid i um romanced shadow heart and i think i could say this as a 43 year old adult who's played video games since i was like seven years old Shadowheart's journey has been probably the most epic companion story I have ever participated in in any game I've ever played ever. Period. Hands down. Every single. I'm talking the the course of 35 years of gaming. You know, uh, best character I've seen ever. Writing, voice acting, motion capture, everything about this character is just phenomenal. Um, we're going to talk full details, but before we get going, this is the part of the video where I say, if you're new, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Check out all the other playlists, daily streams at 11 a.m. Central Time. There is a Discord. There's also member videos if you're a new member of the channel, so check all that stuff out. Now let's talk story. So I knew going in that there had to be something else to Shadowheart other than just I'm a angsty goth princess, right? I suspected from the beginning that, that she had some sort of a redemption arc. I did not know what that redemption arc was going to look like. And, look like, and I had no clue about the Saganite um, background that her character had if you, if you choose to take the redemption arc with her. Some of the moments that really stand out to me are when you first... When you're beginning in the beginning of the game in Act One, and you're getting to know her, and she's very standoffish because her memory's been wiped, and um, she, you know she's she thinks these things that are very horrific things, and um, the only thing she can remember about past life is like that she I think it was because she can't swim and she likes this type of orchid, and then when you get into the um, into the mountain pass area and beyond into the um, creepy shadowlands, um, you could find some of these orchids um, and give them to her, and it sparks a really fun conversation. And also, when you're having a conversation where they're at the big party during Act One at the camp, and you have this moment where she she talks about how oh you know I'm nothing special, there's nothing special about me, nobody cares about my stuff, and, and you're like yeah, but what about the fact that you like you know you don't know how to swim and you like these berries? She's like oh how cu cute you remembered. And it's like she starts to feel that connection with your character in memories because she's making memories with you and you're remembering things about her and, and showing her that she's important, which I think makes for a very good storyline when the romance option comes into play because it feels it feels like a real romance. It doesn't feel like something that was just thrown in there to appeal to a demographic. It, it actually played out like... A real conversation and romance would if you were meeting someone who is that standoffish and you did something sweet for them and and they responded accordingly like it felt it felt legitimate I think my favorite moment with her was when we were at the night song that video has done very well on my channel by the way meeting the night song and um, shadow hearts reaction during that encounter, when you basically are like, I leave it up to you, but because you've done all of these good things up until that point, um, and she decides to go against her goddess and chuck the spear into the void and set the night song free, that was one of the coolest moments of her storyline, but not the coolest. <laughs> but it was definitely one of the coolest because she was like... Ah, you know, and and has to just everything she's ever believed she finds out has been a lie, and and that leads to one of the best parts of her, maybe the best part of her whole journey, was when she finds out that she was actually a Selenite child who was kidnapped in the middle of the forest, and her parents alongside her, 
and then her parents have been held and tortured for years by her own hand as the sharp priestesses wiped her memory over and over and over and forced her to do this horrible thing to her parents over and over and over. And when she makes that realization and her hair changes color and style and she goes from being this dark justiciar of Shar to being a Selenite reborn and she realizes that her whole life has been a lie and she's been manipulated from day one. Quick commercial break, everyone, to give a shout out to our first official guild officer, Bubblonia, as well as all of the guild champions and, of course, all of the members who help keep me on the air full time. To join as a member, simply click that join button below and pick your tier, but you can also support with super chats on any live stream or premiere or super thanks on any upload or YouTube short. Don't forget the Discord. Let's get back to the video. I felt like that is some of the best storytelling that I have ever seen in a video game. Ever. It's some of the best damn storytelling I've ever seen across any medium. Story, you know, books, uh, short stories, comic books, TV shows, films. Like, the 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 storyline for Shadowheart is just amazing. And I haven't got to the end of the game yet. I'm over 100 hours now. We've done the full circle of her um, going down into the temple, taking out the, the previous high cleric, you know, rescuing her parents, um... Not getting the perfect ending, but getting the bittersweet ending of her of her parents becoming motes of light that go on to um, um, you know guide other souls. And through it all, it's been a very tasteful um, romance series. I think the only time there's been any hanky panky at all was the 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 um, skinny dipping scene, which um, I don't even remember when that happened. Somewhere in Act Two, I think. Um, but it's just been a tasteful redemption story from start to finish. And I don't know if there's anything else to come. I'm assuming there's more stuff that comes along towards the end of Act 3 as we get into like the epilogue of stuff. But I just got to say, like from a writing perspective, all of the storylines that I've seen so far, the characters, the companion characters, have been absolutely amazing. I have Lazale in my party alongside with Shadowheart and Gale. Lazale's redemption arc has been exceptional as well. But I'm not romancing her, so it hasn't felt as potent to me as Shadow Hearts has been. And it's less, um, there's less tragedy, I would say, in Lazale's and more sort of a redemption. Although in her case, also, she's had the wool pulled over her eyes for so many years that once she starts to realize that, you know, her whole outlook on life changes. And then Gail's redemption arc has been just absolutely just, uh but then the banter that these three have between them, especially as Shadowheart has gone through her changes, Lazale's gone through her changes, Gale's gone through his changes, like, all of that has changed as these characters have gotten deeper and deeper and deeper into the game, which just goes to show the power of good storytelling. So for me, um, I've laughed, I've cried, I've had a lot of fun, but so far Shadowheart's story has been the best thing I've seen in an RPG ever in 35 years of gaming, and I'm not ashamed to say that. So, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop them down below. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Check out the daily streams at 11 a.m. Central Time. We'll see you in the Discord. Don't forget to check the member videos, everybody. See you next time.